Having the latest and greatest in technology is becoming more important in the modern battlefield. Reconnaissance and strategy are important, and having certain technological advantages could make or break the fight. Melissa Anderson brings us to McKenna Mount site, where high-tech vendors are showing off gadgets that would help our fighting force. The role of the robotics community in the day's army is to defeat and combat different threats through cutting-edge technology. It's roundup time at McKenna Mount site. Here, the latest and greatest in unmanned systems are on display for key decision makers, soldiers, and developers. At the Robotics Rodeo, vendors have a chance to show off their most innovative technologies that counter improvised explosive devices. It's our way of communicating current capability gaps uh, that the warfighters are experiencing today in Afghanistan and demonstrating that to industry and allowing their technology to go against our challenge and demonstrate their ability to affect the counter ID fight. Battlefield robots come in all shapes and sizes and cover a large range of capabilities. Some, like the First Look robot, are used to scout out potential hazardous areas, and the Minotaur can dig trenches in a fraction of the time it would take a soldier to do it. Both of these robots keep soldiers out of harm's way, leaving them less vulnerable. There's a lot of really good technologies they can take, and they can take the place of that soldier and take him out of that dangerous situation. And by doing that, then we save lives. Well, there's a lot of these robots, they're designed to actually do the work of three or four guys. So then that allows you to conserve your manpower and then apply them in other means that better suit and further the mission. Not only is it a great place for vendors to demonstrate their robots' abilities, the Robotics Rodeo also gives them the right platform to get feedback from the people who will actually use them, soldiers. Out here at the rodeo, we're really just here to evaluate the different technologies that are here from a soldier perspective and, you know, try and help the vendors out. You know, this is good, this is bad. You really need to work on this just so that they have a better base for moving forward with their own technologies. After the rodeo, vendors can tailor their designs based on feedback they received from soldiers and key leaders in the Army community. Once they meet the Army's needs, they can be purchased for use overseas. Our goal here is to find the latest technology, something that's promising that we can pick up and accelerate and get into the warfighters' hands as quickly as possible. Melissa Anderson, Fort Benning TV.